Hello guys, welcome back to my review today. I've got this um, VWT rock. And this here is the design trim and this is the 218 model. The 218 model yeah. and you see how beautiful this car is. You just walk around this car, it's got amazing specs outside. I love this contrasting um, two-tone colors. You have pure white, metallic white and non-metallic black, um, high gloss color on the roof. I love the exterior styling of this T-Rock from the front to the side and then the slanting roof line. Very immaculate and yeah I mean outside this car is just quite amazing. I just wish you go inside you're gonna get this um, design, beautiful look, everything you see in outside here in the inside. So I'll just go to the front and show you. So in the front here we have um, so you see, we have front parking sensors, we have honeycomb radiator grip, black honeycomb radiator grip, we have um, uh, chrome trim on the radiator grip top, here, yeah. yeah. oh, chrome trim here, you have another chrome and uh, chrome top here, which is very nice and if you see the black radiator grip, very impressive. And you have your VW badge in the front and there you also have um, let us see. So the light on this design trim is not LED. It comes with standard halogen headlights with a bar like this and running LED lights you can see in this bar here, which also have um, your know, um, indicator. You can only get the ring light -like and running LED lights and the LED headlights on the SE and the SE on the SEL, the R line or as an optional upgrade. Yeah, 17 inches all the way. You can see here. Yeah, 17 inches. Uh, you have chrome trim on the side, uh, more like a skirt, side skirt. But the chrome trim looks very nice. This car is used, so it's not a new car. Uh, it's 280 model, and this one here, the price you can say is between 1,750 pounds. Uh, it's got power for the inside mirrors. And so if you lock and unlock the mirrors on folds, which is very impressive and nice the way they've been knocked off. And on the roof we've got roof rays, black roof rays, which is very okay. And so you can see the roof, there's no um there's no sunroof. You can see the roof, there's no sunroof, so all we have here is just this roof rail. And to the back, you just have this. Look how impressive it looks from behind. Then you have um, chrome trim running from this back, and it goes through the um, C pillar, the B pillar, down to the A pillar, and it ends here. And you have another chrome trim at the side skirt, which is, see? Okay. And then the chrome trim doesn't end there. So here we have another chrome trim, which is supposed to be the exhaust, but it's just a dead end. So there's nothing there. It ends here. It doesn't go beyond this. It's not an exhaust, but it gives it a sporty look and uh, an impressive look too. So you have a honeycomb here, which is not perforated. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. So there's a honeycomb and you have a reflector here and you have a packing sensor on the honeycomb. So that's backpacking sensor and okay you have your T-Rock yeah you see the front and the middle and your VW badge and the car also comes with roof spoiler and it's back integrated with the roof so you can see the high gloss you can see how shiny it is and uh, your spoiler is also black which is integrated and you have LED brake light on the roof spoiler which is nice yeah the good thing you also get back wiper okay and you have body color door handle uh, which is nice so this is the spec and as you can see the car has done 15,000 miles and it was produced it was manufactured in 2018 in November and these are the specs that you get when you buy this car automatic climate control 
Bluetooth, cruise control, DAB radio, you have ABS, has anti lock braking system, you have says no airbags. I'll, I'll find out, I don't think that's correct. So, there are airbags, there should be airbags, um, electric windows, you have wizard wing mirrors, rain sensor, you have alarm device, central locking, central armrest, you've got isofix charts, uh, seat fastener, and rear window wiper, which I just showed you earlier. Okay, and coming inside here, you have apparently uh, you have uh, black decorative inside. And I was talking about how beautiful this car looks outside, how impressive the back, the slanting of the back, the LED um, rear lights, um, LED tail lights, and uh, how do you, uh, looking at it from the front, the side, the back, the car looks impressive. But when, when you come inside, I expect to have beautiful qualities and uh, nice qualities inside. But then, apart from here, we have um, soft armrest on the door panel. Every other thing in this door, on this door, is hard here, 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 and here. We have generous um, door bin, which is very nice. But then, I don't know why, even inside um, Polo and uh, a Golf, they still have a very nice quality of um, door panels, like the Golf, the outline, which I have reviewed. And if you go through my videos, you see the outline. It's got a very nice door panel with both fabric and leather. I hear that. I see no reason why this shouldn't be soft. And coming inside, like I said, uh, Exterior is very very beautiful and excellently designed, but inside we have so here also it's hard It's a bit shiny, so but it's hard. I can't take that away You have leather wrapped steering wheel and it's multifunctional three spoke and you also have here is high gloss trim on the spoke So it's black high gloss trim not um, Chrome you have chrome trim here and you have a couple of buttons you have your so here there is um buttons for the cruise control this is automatic um, sorry active cruise control and uh, limiter and here i think this should be packing i'll find out what this is and here you have control for your um, info, um display so you have both analog and digital display in the middle there you can see that's the instrument cluster and this is the control to for that and on this side, right here, you have your light control. Hey, you've also got trim here on the air vent and central locking system. This is control for your side mirror, so it's heated side mirror. You can see heated and folding and left and right. Does it click? So yeah, so when it goes to the side, you want it clicks, which is very nice. At least you'll be able to know where the, where it is. And you have power windows, fronts and right and right and left and back and then this is window locking automatically okay and the inside i'll talk about the seats later so this is one liter tsi engine with the six speed manual gear and it delivers engine power 14 very cost power and here is i think it's quite decent where you can put um, your phone and um you have two standard usb ports uh, for connecting your phones and uh, charging your phone and connecting your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, depending on the phone you're using. Personally, I would say I actually like this uh, climate control as against the sliders. Those sliders sometimes are quite hard to operate, especially when you're driving and you need to concentrate. It's very, very um, hard. You might be trying to kind of increase the temperature through the slider and then your hand will mistakenly touch the slider for the volume and it's, you know your music start going off. So yeah, that's, I prefer this. I mean, this is easier if you're driving, it's easy for you to just wipe them. Um, turn the dial this way, this way. So, and I love the clicky sound you hear. Yeah, so if you turn it, you hear a sound that, so that you know that it's actually turning, which is nice. And yeah, this is our climate control area and here you have your auto stop start. Auto engine stop starts as when you're in traffic and um, it's very handy for um, fuel economy when you're in traffic, which is nice. And you have your parking uh, sensors on and off, so you can turn your parking sensor on here or you can put it off. I've operated this and this is quite handy and very easy 
to use, uh, very responsive as well. And if you have a look at this, you'll find out that there is no navigation system on this. You've got radio, media phone, and voice on this side. On the left side, you've got app. Uh, you also have sound and car and the menu on the downside. So there's no navigation system, inbuilt navigation system in this car, but not to worry. Uh, something has got you covered. As you can see, welcome to Apple Connect. Please connect the device via USB. So you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Mirror Link. So all you need is use your USB cable, connect your phone. You can drive uh, with your map, with some um, other apps in your phone like um, WhatsApp, um, uh, what is it called? And so many other apps that you can use while you're driving your map, your ways, uh, Google, um, Google Map, and all that. You can use them while you're driving. So you have uh, hard material here. There's no soft material on the dash, and you extend down onto the central console, giving it this beautiful and um, piano black trim. And apart from being hard, I mean, it gives it a nice look inside. Okay, coming down here, you have your the car has got cup holder, uh, a very nice cup holder, and this one also, so you've got two cup holders, which is, I think, uh, there's not just men there, and you also have electronic parking brake, and uh, auto hold, VW key for, this is generally what you get from all the VW cars, apart from the new ones, where you have high gloss key fobs, so, okay, I'm just gonna put the key in, and, uh, See what we have. Okay. So this is what we have. This is the screen when you turn the car on. And I will just check this light again. So we have select account is an active driver. And let me see. Rename account is a copy account. And no, I'm not going to do that. Okay. And driver assistant. Let me see. So you have drive program normal, and uh, so you have uh, four drive profiles to select from. You have eco mode, you have comfort mode, normal mode, and sports mode. If I go to sports, what happens? Uh, it doesn't change anything on the drives on the screen here. But probably when you're driving, you feel. Uh, you have front assist, ambient traffic monitor system, which is active, and you also have advanced warning medium. So you have display distance warning. Okay. Uh, lane keep assist which is active adaptive link uh, lane guidance so you can put this on as well this is nice oh, that's pretty rough drive alert okay so you've got so many assist system here and uh, parking and maneuvering you have active activate automatically so front volume front tone setting if rear volume uh, rear tone setting entertainment fading and maneuver braking so okay this is very nice. ESC activated tires. Let me see. Uh, winter tire. No, I'm not gonna talk. Do anything about that. Come out here. Okay. Uh, anything in the interior? Let me see. Go to car. Uh, so you can see the average miles is done. So you can have an average of. Um, um, 34.8 miles per gallon. I think that's from based on who drove the car last. But. All right, I'm just going to show you uh, the headlight, the, this light. So you have this light. Okay, so that's the um, LED um, daytime running light, and that's the light there. Uh, if you come behind, you see the LED lights behind here. Very impressive, though this is not the IQ Matrix um, LED light, but this is also very nice and impressive. Okay, and talking about the seats, um, apparently these are not sports seats, but they are quite nice and uh, comfortable to sit on. And uh, you have your seat adjustments. Uh, you also have one here in the front. 
and you have the uh, roller here for the side which I don't really like this because when you're driving it takes a lot of work for you to try to bring the backrest up but overall the seat looks very decent and um, very nice so you can see not a spot seat but yeah it gives you what you want so I'm going to check this one so you can see the seat is very very okay okay I'm gonna try out the back seats open the up you open quite wide then. side back seat uh the car is slanted but uh, space wise uh, new room is you can see um one point um 83 meters and I still got space here between my knees and the back. Despite having this transmission tunnel here, uh, carrying three, three passengers is still very okay. Um, you have the back seats, the front seats um, is well, um, so you've got enough foam material and uh, so you don't have to bother about hitting your knees. If I bring this out in here, you get uh, two cup holders with adjust, um, adjustable cup holders so you can use this um, to adjust the position of the cup uh, so you can use this to adjust uh, where your, your cup holders will be depending on the size of your cup or even bottle, water bottle so anything you have should be able to fit in decently without any problem so this is yeah it's a nice nice stuff at least you can adjust this and you won't bother about oh this is too much or this is too small for me so you can yeah nice armrest it's very soft yeah this is the only thing i don't like the one in the front but this one at the back is very fine all right i think i'm done with the back and just go and check the interior in the box Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, to be honest, the boot size is uh, 450. I'll check. You can drop the back seat and still get 1,200 and something um, liters of back uh, boot space. But the impressive thing is that this uh, floor here is adjustable. So in terms of practicality, it's very nice. You can see there's no much gap between the load seal and then the floor. But then this is adjustable. You can decide to take this down if you want and to create additional space so yeah so that's it so taking it down gives you a decent amount of space uh boot space here you can see okay, so here you have a loading hatch which you can open up by uh, pressing this down and pushing you have you see a space where you can load uh, from this boot into the inside of the back seat and if I bring this up Okay, if you bring it up you get this which is very impressive You've got um, anchor points here And you've got another anchor point here And one here You've got another one here as well And this is basically to raise this up when you raise it up so it stays this way and you'll be able to do whatever you want to do under here and this car has got space saver and spare wheel which is very nice it doesn't always you don't always get this in vw car but this car comes with it yeah so if you drop the pack so this is what you get perfect floor no ridge very easy for you to load um long store um, enough enough loading area and enough space yeah vw and t-rock and this lights that get integrated into the tailgate so you have part of the light here and this um extension into the tailgate which is nice